She's in a white dress with blue. She has a gold band around the waist. She has a headband and it has a flower with a, a gem in it. She has very light skin and dark red hair. Her kind of medium brown with red in it. Her eyes at first look blue, but they are like mm -hmm. the night sky with stars. She has pointed ears mm -hmm. and light skin. Is she carrying anything in her hands? She has a book in her hands. Tell me about this book. How does it look? You're able to see and sense the details to it. It is a book, but it is a history of the eons. And so it is not really a book. It is all the, is the information of everything. It's from, it is all the knowledge of this time, of the past and of the future. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Ask her, why is she holding this? She says with the greatest of love that this is the time. We are here for this. We are all here to help with this. The love is so strong. And there are so many, so many who are here with us. My tears are for joy. Mm, how beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for giving us that message. Would I be able to speak to her? Would you allow for her to connect to you so that she could speak to us today? Yes, for she is me. Oh, of course. Beautiful. If I could please speak there, too, it would be an honor to speak to you now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sister, for being here. I love you, honor you, respect you. Thank you. Can you tell me a little bit more about yourself and where are you at now? What does your surroundings look like? Hmm. It is energy. It is light. It's not really solid ground. I see I see pyramids. There's yeah. pyramids there around? Yes. yes, I look at them. Mm. And they are energy sources and centers. Mm. Is there a few or many? There are many. The land is covered with them. How does the I land call it? So you know, it's like it's not really land, it's more like a ball of energy. Mm. It's like color and no solidity, energy. And this is where I am from. Mm -hmm. How beautiful. Is this a planet of sorts? It is. Mm -hmm. Can you um, tell me what dimension you're in? Thirteenth mm, dimension. Mm, beautiful. What are the representations to these pyramids upon the spheric energy? They are golden. What are they for? What do they mean? They are filled with knowledge and energy. <laughs> they are for here for us to connect with, to reconnect with <laughs> during these times as we have put ourselves off to go help others who work in many places, in many levels, at mm -hmm. different times. Is there anyone else there with you? I'm the only one here. There are others. Okay. In this moment, it's time. It's only you there. Mm -hmm. Correct. And tell me, why is it that you look like that? Um, you know, with the tall ears and... You seem very magical, you can say. Yes. Yes, I have. I have been everywhere through every time. Do you mean that you have incarnated or fractalized through everywhere? Is that what you mean, or how? We are boundless. We are part of everything. Beautiful. Can you tell me a little more about that book you're holding? What does it represent? I know... We talked about what it represents, but any more information you could give us as far as why you have it there and what you want to share with us about it? 
It's a beautiful book, and when I open the pages, it's it's about the size of my hands. And when I open the cover on it, it sparkles. And I put my hand on the on the pages, and I glean information from it as I hold it. It is magical. <laughs> beautiful. It is of all time and space. Can you tell me what is accessible within this book? What can you do with it? In this book, you can travel to the past or to the future, or just to another place. Mm-hmm. It is like a time machine. Mm-hmm. It helps you to see and to feel, to know and to understand. And tell me, what are some of the reasons you have used it to travel for? Mm. Sometimes... I see where I was in the past, and I wonder what it was for, and we can see it all, where it ties into the now and to the future. Mm-hmm. What a purpose, what a purpose for all of these existences. Thank you. Now, she also mentioned something about Atlantis at the beginning. We weren't able to get that on recording. Can you tell us what you were mentioning about this? I was different to them. I saw a man, very large man, very strong. And I looked down at his feet and he had sandals on his feet. And he was walking in a tunnel that was not solid. It was like a, uh, just like clouds, like a, and next to his side was a stag and his stag was his guide. And he had a, he was very much like a, like a Gandalf, only a large man. And he was looking over, he was looking at the world from above because Atlantis had just deconstructed and it wasn't what was supposed to happen. Hmm. Should we reconnect to that man now? Sure, he is there. Can you connect me now to the gentleman there that was viewing Atlantis, please? I'd like to speak to you. Thank you. Greetings, am I speaking to you now? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for being here. If you could explain to us, um, how do you look so we can see an image of you? Mm, I'm very large, very strong. My hands are so strong, and my feet are so large, and like like a, a 300-pound man, but it's all muscle. I have a long white hair and a beard, and I have a hat, and just like a very simple clothing with a rope around the um, waist. I stand next to my stag, and my shoulders are on level with his shoulders. He has been with me forever. You can see the stars in his eyes. He is multicolored and dimensional. My staff is in my left hand, and it it has crystals and beautiful colors on it. I'm walking. I have come through the portal, gone through the portal to look and see the destruction. It is awful. Tell me if you could just rewind it, rewind it back to right before this destruction happened. So you you said that you are looking from a point of view from above the Earth? Yes. On this Atlantis timeline? Yes. Tell me what's going on right before this, this, this um, destruction occurs. Well, let us there. There is flat clouds in the sky. Energy has been released that was not supposed to be released. Volcanoes are blowing and the destruction is loud and complete. I feel as if I was part of this and this was not supposed to happen. Tell me, what happened? What caused this? What was supposed to happen? 
We were putting energies together, energies that we should not have put together. Hmm. It is a shame, but it was also what was meant to be. It came in time. And so the earth blows in turmoil. And many of us pass at that time. And of course, we will be back to help again and again. Mm -hmm. When the Atlantis sinks, what happens to all the souls that were on the island or the, the land that they were on? Some do escape, but some, many, many pass, and many pass. Mm -hmm. When they pass, are they able to release out from this timeline? Yes. Is there any that stay stuck there within this, this chaos? Those who chose to stay in the lower dimensional, repeat these cycles. They may go to another place and another timeline, but it will be in the same, in the same level until they can remember, until they can choose different. Is there anything that you do from above when you see that this is um, sinking? Anything you can do or any others can do from above? Mm, I am filled with love for humanity and knowing that in the future we will try it again. We will do better. Wonderful. So many of us have come back. Mm. It is all as if all the timelines come together. They all the past, the present, the future. We are all here again. Some have chose. Some have chose not to come back in the physical form and to help from other dimensions. And that is a blessing. And others of us believed in the cycle, in the growth cycle, and so we chose to come mm -hmm. back again and again. Either way, we are all helping, however we choose to do it. Thank you. Is there a reason why you're showing this Atlantis timeline for us is that has shifted on Earth or anything we need to know from it? That can assist us. There was a time when we could have gone exactly the same way again, or almost exactly the same way. But we chose. We made the choice. And with, with the help, with all the help that we received, we were able to change the timeline and put us on the positive path that takes us to where we are now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We still have a lot of things to learn. There's a lot of people to wake up. But mm -hmm. it is happening very, very quickly right now. Good. And what is your connection to her? I know um, the prior being we're speaking to said that they were one. What is your? We are all fractals. I am a fractal of her. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when you were looking down on Earth, what dimension were you looking down from? Mm. And that was a fourth dimensional. That was mainly a fourth dimensional Earth. Mm -hmm. There were some that were working on, that were in the lower dimensions, and there were some that were in the upper dimensions. But the general level was a fourth dimensional Earth. Okay. Was the Earth um, supposed to ascend into a higher dimension in that time before it sunk? 
Pilatus? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, but there was so much interference. Mm -hmm. What dimension yeah. was it supposed to ascend to? Into the fifth dimension. Yes, because if the general dimensionality of the earth is fifth dimensional, then then it allows for it allows for some to be much higher. Mm, it creates a much better agenda than what goes on. We'll always be four dimensional. Not always. Now we are choosing for there not to be. We're choosing at this point in the future for it to not be a place for lower dimension activity. That is the choice. So many of us didn't know that the interference was negative. And so we didn't, it's not that we didn't fight it, but we didn't know there was anything wrong with it. And of course, there isn't, because there's no judgment. Mm -hmm. We just didn't know how to change it. We didn't know how to raise, how to help them so that they didn't interfere. So it was loud, and then things that were created that should not have been created. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else you want to share with us about Atlantis? No, I think we're good here. Wonderful, thank you. Very good. So at this point, I'd love to be able to start her body scan. Would you be her higher self's perspective, or would we talk back to... Yes, we um, can use... Yes, my higher self. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you for all this wonderful information. Okay, let's go ahead and leave that life now. Can I please speak to the higher self? Of yes. Am I speaking to the higher self now? Yes, you are. Thank you. I honor you, love you, and respect you for all the aid you've given us today. I know that you hold all the records of different lives. May I ask you questions? Mm. Please? Yes, you can. Thank you. Why is it that you took her to the 13th dimension where we were having that beautiful being speaking to us? Why did you take her there? so many times she feels this overwhelming love and that is where it comes from and so many times she receives knowledge from this place and she thinks it is purely her imagination but it's not it is from this place it is from this book mm. And from this loving place. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, her inner knowing is strong, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Okay, and then, and then you also took her to the other fractal of her that was male, that was looking down at Atlantis. Why did you take her there? Well, he was... <clears throat> He thought he was doing right. He was in a time of transition as we are now. And he thought he was doing the right thing and it did not turn out good. So that is the knowledge mm -hmm. that we have for this time. Okay. To know that, yes, we have all along tried to do, tried, tried to come to this point. And now we are here. We are here. <laughs> I think um, her puppy is really loving the energy coming out from her. Yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah, so we are here now. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Anything else you want her to know about both of those perspectives you, show you showed her? No, she's good. She's fine. Okay, very good. Okay, higher self. Um, and is there a name that you go by, higher self? 
It is Amara. Amara, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Amara, if you could please begin her body scan at this point. Start okay. scanning her body and let us know if you need any assistance from the Archangels. Yes, I will need Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael. Beautiful. Hi, yourself, if you could connect us now to Archangel Michael and Raphael. Connect yes. us to both of them now, please. Yes. Okay. Michael and Raphael, we love you, honor you, thank you, and respect you. Thank you, brothers, for being here. We have um, here, Higher Self has requested for your aid in conducting her body scan. If you could please begin her body scan. Start scanning her from head to toe and assist the Higher Self to see what needs to be healed first. What, what would you like to focus on first? What does she have energies, entities? What does she have within her that we can start healing now? Yes. She has... She has entities that have attached and that have been hurting her and we need to we need to get rid of them and send them to the light so that they do not hurt her again mm -hmm. where are they on her mm. we can start with her feet okay and are these entities or reptilian consciousness? Hmm. They are reptilian con con consciousness, yes. Okay. So, yes. Michael Raphael, if we could start finding all if she, all the reptilian consciousness that she may have within her. So if you mm. can go ahead and encase those in her feet, is it both feet? Yes. Okay, encase them both in the alchemy symbols, please, Michael. Mm. Let us know once they're encased. Okay. Beautiful. Let's continue scanning the rest of her body. Let's see what other, making sure mm -hmm. if there's any other reptilian consciousness, we want to find them all. What else does she have any? In her knees. In her knees. Both knees? Yes. Oh, yes. In both knees. Okay. So around both of those, mm -hmm. those spots. Now, with the symbols, please. Yes. Thank you. Let me know once they're surrounded. Okay. Good. Continue scanning her body. Where else does she have any more? Okay. Oh, in the, in the digestion, in the digestive area. Okay, in the stomach digestive area? Yes. Okay, let's surround those now with the alchemy symbols, please, Michael. Let me know once they're surrounded. Okay, we are surrounded. Wonderful. Continue scanning her. Where else does she have any more? We want to make sure we don't miss any. As we know they could be sneaky and hiding. Yes. Up in the, up in the neck, up by the skull. Mm -hmm, where she mentioned in the back of her neck. Yes. yes. Skull. Bottom skull. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and okay. encase those with the alchemy symbols now, please. Yes. Let's do that. Okay. Let me know once they are done. And it is done. Good. Let's keep scanning. Does she have any more? We missed the hands. In the hands. In the hands, both hands? Yes, in the hands. Let's go ahead and encase those, please. Whew. Okay. Okay. Scan her again. Again, we don't want to miss any. Does she have any more anywhere else? Let me, let me do the shoulders. Let's do the shoulders. Yes, scan the shoulders. Let me know. Mm-hmm. Yes. She has some there? Yes. Let's take care of those. Both shoulders? Yes. Okay. Let me know once they're encased. Ah, yes. Thank you. They're encased. Let's keep scanning. Scan again. Mm. Making sure again we don't miss any. We have already said the feet, but... Yes. I have a toe. There is... Just really feeling like it has a lot of stuff going on there. My big toe on the right foot. Okay. Put, put some extra. Put some. That. Yes, some extra symbols there. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, let's scan her body one more time. Be sure again, we don't miss any. Does she have any more reptilian consciousness? I think that we're good. Beautiful. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Um, Michael and Rafael, I'd like to speak to them on my one, seeing when they uh, came in and see how we can assist them. Okay. Michael, mm. let's go ahead and start off with the ones in her um, her toe. She said it was pretty strong energy there. Mm. If um, I'd like to speak to those there in her feet and her toe. I'd like to speak to you now. If you could come up, up, up. Up now, please. Okay. Greetings. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for speaking to us. Love you, honor you, and respect you. May mm. I ask you questions, please? Yes. Thank you. Um, when was it that you all came in to her toes and her feet? Hmm. It was about in 1999. What was going on then that allowed for you to come in? Hmm. There was a lot of stress in her marriage and the death of her father and all of that. And just so the fear and the sadness allowed this to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And did, do you all have a body somewhere else? No. You're just consciousness, reptilian consciousness? Yes, we are. And what happened to your bodies? Hmm. I don't know that. That's okay. All right. Well, as you know, in this time of space, we are ascending. The earth is ascending, and so is the universe as this transformation occurs. Lower density energies and entities like you will no longer be able to hold this frequency when when the earth ascends. Would you allow for us to help you today so that you may positive polarize, no longer having to play this negative role attaching to people and draining upon their energy? Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Find your light within you. All the reptilians there within her feet and her toes. Spread that light. We're going to help you spread that light. Spread it to all that is you. Mm. Every root, every cord. Mm. Let me know. Once all of you are all light. Yeah, we are light. There's 13. There's 13 of you there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> go ahead and release yourself. <laughs> release yourself and yeah. make sure you don't leave any piece of you behind. Let me know once all of you are out. We are all out. Beautiful. Okay, now do you have a message for her before you go? We meant you no harm. What was the purpose? Why were you there? Were you there for a, a reason? We were, we were there to support, but we do not have the consciousness for that. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, if we could call forth now Archangel Azrael. Archangel Azrael. Yes. Greetings, yes. Mother. Thank you for your assistance today. We're going to need your assistance a couple times here as we remove the entities. Um, we have here now positive polarized uh, reptilian consciousness or entities. If you could please guide them to where they're meant to go now, please ensuring that they don't get tricked along the way. Yes, I will help them with that. Thank you, brother. And can you tell us where is it that you're taking them to? I'm taking them to the light. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Good. May they be surrounded by that infinite love light of the universe. Yes. Blessings to you. Yes. Thank you, Asriel, and thank you to them as well. Archangel Raphael, brother, if we could start feeling in love light to those areas where they were removed from in her feet and her toes. Yes. Thank you. Okay, let's look at that rotating consciousness there in the back of her skull. Yes. Okay. Michael, if you could help it come up, up, up now, please. I'd like to speak to you now. Yes. I'm Greeting. Ready. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Love you, honor you, and respect you. May I ask you questions? Yes. 
Thank you. When was it that you attached there to the heart skull? Mm. It was about two or three years ago. It was on her trip to California. She was on her way there. She was going to help her daughter. Yes. Yeah. It was during that trip. What was it that happened during that trip that allowed for you to come in? Her daughter was having pro physical problems and she went to help her. And this was an energy that was there that was already attacking her daughter and the family. And mm -hmm. it attacked her on the way there. Okay. You were part of that energy? Yes. Okay. How many of you are there in the back of our skull? 420. Mm. Okay. Did you hear the uh, what we um, the speech we gave to the other reptilian consciousness? Yes, I did. And do you all have bodies somewhere else? I see them in some place dark. Dark and wet and you know, unpleasant. Hmm. If you could please connect us, connect us to those reptilian bodies that you're uh, connected yeah. to there, that you're seeing in that space. Connect yeah. us there now. Yeah. Thank you. We'd like to speak to you now there. Okay. Greetings. Thank you for speaking to us. Love you, honor you, and respect you. May I ask you questions, please? Yes. Thank you. We have found uh, over 400 of you there in the back of her skull, and they mentioned they, that you had that they have bodies here where they, where they originally came from, from you there. If you could tell us, where are you currently? We are in a lower dimensional planet. There's a lot of darkness here. We're a bit slaves. You're slaves? Yes. Mm -hmm. We're attached to people. Oh. We attach to energy like that because we would like to be out of here. We would like to not be here. Okay. So she's a high energy, high vibrational energy. And we mm -hmm. attach to that to get out of this situation. Okay. And who has your sleeves there? Hmm. The feeling I'm getting is AI. Mm-hmm. It's an artificial intelligence of some kind. How do they have you trapped there? They keep us in fear and neglect and filth. And we don't know how to change. We don't know how to get out of here. Mm -hmm. By We see the lights of others. Some of us are able to do that, and then they become a bridge for <coughs> the ones that don't see it. Okay. Okay. Is there no, um, there's 400 in the back of her skull. How many are there being trapped in this space? Thousands. Oh. There are thousands. Thousands. Okay. Would you uh, connect us to the thousands, please? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening to us. We love you, honor you, and respect you. You have been trapped in this manner for a long time. Yes. And we are yeah. looking to assist you so that you no longer have to play this negative role where you have to be enslaved in this manner, being used to attach and cause havoc throughout creation, perhaps. We'd love to be able to, uh, to assist you today in no longer um, playing this role instead of ascending and positive polarizing with your energy spreading your light reminding you of your light so that you no longer have to attach or draw from anyone anymore instead you can release yourself and create your own energy throughout the universe and create some more with these experiences that you gained would you allow for us to assist you today yes we would good and is it all the ones that are there all thousands of them Yes, all of us. Beautiful. How many thousand are we talking about? 30,000. 
$30,000. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and speak to him now. Let me speak to Archangel Michael, please, in the Legion of Light. Yes, I am Michael. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, brother. Love you, honor you, respect you. Such beautiful energy as always. Michael, brother, if you can connect us to, the, to, to your legion there, the Legion of Light and the Protectors of the Universe, if you can go ahead and locate them. Did you locate them yet? Yes, I have them here with me. Okay. Can we start assisting them, protecting them, so they can could, they could start spreading their love light? So we're going to focus love light upon them, please. Yes, we will. Good. And then also, um, they mentioned that it, this happened when she was on her way to see her daughter and her family. So are, were they also attached to her daughter and her husband and her family? Yes, they were. Okay. Michael, can you ask their higher selves if they will allow for us to release the consciousness that are attached to them too? Yes. Let me know if they allow. They are fully in acceptance. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and start helping as well. The consciousness is there within, within her and the ones in her family. Let's start spreading their love light. Is, is this collective here attached to any other part of her body? As she mentioned, she's got some in her shoulders, her knees, anywhere else, stomach? Mm, no, they are not part of any of the others. Okay. Very good. So we're helping us spread their love light there in the back of her skull as well as the, the ones there in that space. Michael, can you tell us a little bit more about what the space looks like? They said that it's dark and wet. How does it look from your perspective? It almost looks like it's underground. And so they are using these beams for some kind of manipulation. Mm -hmm. And that is all that I'm given right now. Okay. And they mentioned that it has to do with AI. Is that accurate? Yes. Are there archons involved with this? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long would you say within our Earth's time have they been stuck like this? Mm. 250,000 years is the number that comes to me. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's a long time. Yeah. And now, yes. Now, are these just males or is there females there too? There's just males. Just males. Okay. How are they looking? Are they spreading their love light? We can have the Legion of Light. They're helping them spread their love light, please. Yes. They're, they are spreading. It is good. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. And Michael, uh, what do we do about the fact that they're being, like, who's holding them captive? What do you need to do on your end in regards to that? Because they're going to, you know... We will send them interference so that they don't know. Okay. But they are gone. Good. So let's shield that. Yeah. We don't know. Helping them spread their love light. And let me know once they're all love light, including the consciousness within her and her family. Okay. We have transferred them all. Beautiful. Are they all love light? Yes. Good. Go ahead, all of you, start releasing yourself. And we can have Azrael and his legion now, gathering them all, making sure none of them get astray, keeping them all mm. there gathered. Mm, yeah. Let us know once they're all out. Okay, they are all out. Beautiful. Okay. Can, um, Michael, can you have Raphael start feeling love like to the areas in her body as well as her family's? Thank you in the areas where they were removed. Okay. Do you all have a message for us before you go? Thank you so much. We have been waiting. We have been waiting to be freed from this. And now we are love. Thank you. Thank you. Michael, as, did, as well as I want to make sure, we also got the consciousness that they were attached throughout say, the universe, since it was a lot of them, 30,000. Mm -hmm. Were they attached to other people as well? Oh, yes, they were. Okay, so if we could have Rafael and the le his legion there asking um, if we can re help remove those consciousness from people too. Yes, we will do that. Good. Let me know if they get permission, or at least the majority gets permission. Yes, they Wonderful. have permission. 
Thank you. And how many people are they attached to out there? Mm, 32. 32 people? Mm hmm. Okay. Yes. Let's start helping them spread those consciousness that they have okay. into light, into light love. And then once they're light love, let's to bring them back to where they came from, yes. making them whole once more and then helping them in their ascension into positive yes. polarization process. Let me know once it's all done and they are back together. Yes, they are back together now. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Azra, if you could tell us, where are you taking them all to? I'm taking them into the light. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And tell me what, what kind of process are they going to go through in the light? They will have, they will have a choice. Mm -hmm. Because they need this choice. They strove to make a change, and they have made this change, and they have made this choice. So they will choose at this point what their next step is. Beautiful. Good. May they be surrounded by the love light of the universe as they decide to go wherever it is that they're meant to go for their positive ascension. Yes. Blessings to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. If we can continue scanning her body. So we got the skull. Look at her shoulders. Mm. I'd like to speak to those reptilian consciousness now. If you could bring them up, up, up now, please. Okay. Greetings. Hello. Thank you for speaking to us. Love you, honor you, and respect you. May I ask you questions, please? Mm. Yes. Thank you. Are you connected to any part of the body besides the shoulders? Mm, connected to the digestion and for the stomach area and and also the knees. Okay. Good. Okay, so speaking to all of you there in the digestive, in the knees and the shoulders. Thank you for yeah. speaking to us. Love you, honor you, and respect you. If you could tell us, do you have a body that you're connected to? Any of you? Hmm, I don't know. I don't have that information. Okay, that's okay. Um, can you tell us when was it that you all came into her? Hmm, 1999. Thereabouts. Yes. During the time of stress. Mm hmm. Okay. Got it. Hmm. Thank you. And let me ask Michael a question, Michael, brother. Yes. They said that they didn't have this information. Are they attached to, um, are they connected to any reptilian body somewhere else? Hmm. I cannot see this. They, I, I see mm -hmm. alligators in a swamp. Hmm. Okay. Michael, if you could continue to keep scanning. What does okay. this mean? Why are you seeing alligators in a swamp? What is their connection to them? Hmm. I don't know. I can't see this. I can't understand this information. That's okay. Is there someone else, uh, another archangel that could help us see clearer on this? Do you want like a, say, um, like a divine mother archangel form? Hmm. Raphael. Okay. Can Wonderful. Raphael, here, here, help us with this. Good. Raphael, brother, if you can help Michael look and see. Why, why are we seeing alligators in a swamp and what is their connection to them? You're able to see, sense, feel, hear, know everything very clearly. Very clearly now. They've been here for eons. The alligators? Yes. The, 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 you have seen that because, because that is the understanding that they have been here for eons. Are the alligators connected to the reptilian consciousness they're attached? Yes. The, yes. And okay. that is how we see it or how it's seen. Mm hmm Okay. 
very good. Now, these alligators, where are they? They're, they're, under, they're really, it's in your mind, it's underground or in, in the mind or in a different dimension. It's a, it's a realm that we don't want to know about, but a realm that is there and, and many of us have chose to block this realm. Mm. This realm is in what dimension? Mm. It would be more in the second dimension. Okay. Yeah. Does it have any connections to Earth? It's the second to the fourth dimension. They don't they don't intend to be harmful, but they don't understand that what they do is harmful. They are only gleaning energy from people. They are gleaning energy from our uh, from our souls, from our light. They they need our light in order for them to survive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for um, clarifying that. And that's the best way we can see them in the second dimension. They're like alligators. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see, Rafael, Michael, what can we do with them? How can we assist them? We need to just, we need to send them love light and uh, help them to know that there are other ways for them to get the energy that they need. Okay. Raphael and your legion, if we could start working on sending them love light, please, brother. And how many would you say are within this dimension that we're focusing on sending love light to these crocodiles? How many? Hmm. Hmm. I see. And it's like they're all over the world, you know, and it's, there, I see 340,000. Hmm. Okay. Michael and the Legion of Light, Raphael as well, if we could all focus love light onto them now, please. Mm. Raphael, for, as we're sending love light to them, tell me what's going on with them. Mm. They don't have the emotions to understand. Mm -hmm. But they are willing to find a different way. Okay. They're spreading their love light good? Yes. Good. It's spreading very fast. Good. Can you tell me what were some of the things that they were doing within this, um, say, swamp-like two dimension? They were doing the same thing to a lot of other people that they were doing to her. Mm -hmm. Just oh. taking their energy mm -hmm. and which makes them sick. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, to enable themselves. Yes. They feed off of, that's how they do it. They go from one person to the next. Yeah. Okay. And do they have any connections to the actual alligators that are within our swamps? Mm. No. Okay. No, those are actually more enlightened beings okay all right so let us know once they're turned all to light okay okay they are good they're all turned to light beautiful if we could have again Ezra and his legion gather them all up now that they are of light and if we could have Raphael and his legion send love light to this two-dimensional area where they were at Anywhere else that they attach themselves to as well, like where they attach to any other people. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many people were they attached to? Oh, many, many people. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. They allow for us to help remove some of those consciousness that they were attached to them. Yes, we must do that. Good. If we could get permission from their higher selves, then if, and we could start removing those that are approving. Yes. Okay, start spreading love light to them. Mm -hmm. And then start removing them and collecting them back to them to where um, yes. Azrael is uh, keeping them safely there. Yeah. Okay, let us know. How many people were they attached to? Mm, thousands, 40,000 people. Wow, okay. Thank you. Are the, the majority of the 40,000 saying yes to remove? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, as we're spreading their love light, start removing and coming to Asriel there in his legion to help you out. And then we can have Raphael and his legion there spreading love light unto the 40,000 people. Yeah. Those that are allowed. Thank you. Spreading love light, healing those areas where they were attached. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And as you gather yourselves there, do you have any, um, any message for us before you go? We're sorry. We didn't mean to cause harm. We didn't know that we would cause harm. Mm-hmm. Very good. Let us know once you are all collected. You're all Okay. They are all collected. Good. You got your consciousness back into you? They are. Mm -hmm. Good. And everybody is light? Yes. Good. Again, for the love like to those those humans there that need to. Good. Okay. Thank you, thank you. May you be surrounded by the love light of the universe. Blessings to you, Azrael and Legion. Take them to where they're meant to go for their highest good. Blessings to you all. Thank you. <sighs> Very good. Michael, okay. thank you. I feel so much lightness and more and more lightness coming out of our session. I just feel it yeah. not only um, you know, within her, but also the earth. This feels really good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Michael, um, so the last thing here, I believe, is the hands. Yes. Okay. If we could like to speak to those reptilians there in her hands, I'd like to speak to you now, please, if you could come up. up. Yes, I'm here. Greetings. Thank you for speaking to us. May we ask you questions, please? Yes. Thank you. Love you, honor you, and respect you. If I can ask, when was it that you attached to her hands? Just a couple of years ago. What was going on that allowed for you to come in? Mm. More stress. Mm -hmm. More negativity, outside influences. Outside influences? Yes. Mm -hmm. What were some of these outside influences that caused this? She was working... She was working in a uh, with mentally uh, in, in a home with mentally uh, with six women who were uh, uh, needed to be taken care of, and it was a very stress. They were wonderful, wonderful people, but it was a very, very stressful time, mm -hmm. and of course. There were energies around all these people who had been there their whole lives. And, you know, it was just part of the process. They went from the, someone else to her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. She said that her arthritis really began a couple of years ago. Is that when it began for her because of your attachment? The arthritis was previous, but... She said her head... Re yes, it rebounded a couple of years ago, and that's when the hands started having a lot of problems. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, you've heard our conversations with the other telling consciousness would you allow for us to assist you in this manner as well please yes thank you how many of you are there in her hands three 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 
Good. And do you have any a reptilian body that you're attached to somewhere else? Hmm. Yes. And where, uh, can you please connect us? Connect us now to those reptilian bodies now, please. Yes. Thank you. I'd like to speak to you there now. If I could please speak to you now, greetings. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for speaking to us. May I ask you questions, please? Yes. Thank you. Where is it that you're located at? It is underground. Underground? Here, yes, here on Earth, but underground. Underground. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where Where are you? Underground? Can you describe what it looks like? It is like caves and, you know, darkness. Mm-hmm. Is it just you three? Mm. We are left here to ourselves. We are doing a job. And that's the, what we are here to do. Mm -hmm. Is it just you three or some more? Mm, just us three here to do this job. And what is your job? We keep in, we watch, we watch. What do you watch for? We are supposed to, um, we are supposed to, like putting a wall up, putting a shield so that you can't get through it or see through it. That is our job. Mm -hmm. It is in a certain area and it is to keep secrets. Okay. If we are not here, they will replace us and put someone else here, so. Hmm. Okay, thank you for, thank you for your honesty. If I could please speak to Michael now. Yes. Michael, brother, if you could tell us, what, what are they watching for? And why would, if we move them, why would they be replaced? Hmm, they were like, they were like, but soldiers or minions, you know, mm -hmm. and they, they can easily be replaced by the millions of others like them to replace them. Mm -hmm. Their energy is very low, and mm, their job is what it is, and it's very boring for them. So sometimes they will attach to others, and it is to block and to keep understanding. Is to, it's to block people, to keep them from going forward. Is there a way that we could shut job. down this, this um, you know, program that they have going on there? Hmm. That would be one of them that... Others... Archangel Michael can do that. Okay, Michael, can you um, shut this down so that when we remove, help them remove that no one will come into their place and tell me how you're doing that? Yes. We are going to send frequencies that will shut that down. Yes, mm -hmm. that's how we will do it. It will, in essence, make it evaporate. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Michael, for doing that. Let's go. And are they allowing for us to help you help them spread their love light? Yes, they are. Good. Let's focus love light upon them now, as well as the consciousness that are attached to her. And then are they attached to anyone else besides her? No. Okay. Why did they choose her then? Why just her for this agenda? She was awakening at that point, and they came from, they jumped from someone else to her, someone who was unawakened to her, to try and block, to try and block her from awakening. She was very strong, though. Mm -hmm. So, they could not block completely, but they harmed, they did physical harm to her instead. Okay. So we're helping them spread their love light. Michael, let me know once they're uh, both the, those there on the ground and the ones in her um, hands have, are all light. 
Yes, they have joined it. They are light. Beautiful. Good. If we can have Raphael for the love light to her, the areas there in her. And then if, the, if there's any healing need in the underground area where this was being conducted, if we can have Raphael get again and Legion for the love light there, please. Do you all have any message before you go for her? We were just doing our job. We were sent here to do it, and that's what we were doing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you okay. for allowing for us to assist you. Yes. I ask you if you can go ahead and um, assist them to where they're meant to go for the positive polarization. Blessings to you all. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Ah, wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Michael, scan her one more time. We want to make sure we do not miss any. Mm. And then also, can we start healing her arthritis? I know it's, it's, it's you know, pretty bad and, you know, her, her hands are pretty bad. Is there any way that we can start releasing some of that stagnant energy here, stuck? Like, what would you say the, the initial route to how her hands and the arthritis throughout her body began? Hmm. How did it uh, start to develop? Yes, what's the root so we can start healing the root? Yes. It is caused by stress. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so the way she has learned to deal with it, with uh, eating properly and eating, not that she had a bad diet beforehand, but to heal, she needed to eliminate things that were still causing her problems, and so that is how she's doing it. She needs to stay out of stress, to not be stressed, and she has learned how to deal with this uh, so much, so much better. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for um, this information. Can we start healing the root of her arthritis so we can start regressing some of this pain and, and you know, um, how it has, you know, really morphed her hands into, looks painful. Yes. Can we start loosening yeah. up those muscles, bones, tissues that are all connected to the arthritis? As, and can we just completely heal her from arthritis, please? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's start the process now. If we can have a fellow in his legion here, start working on her there with her higher self, please. It's time to release that. Help okay. her release any stress, any pain that's, that's causing that stagnant there, too. Thank you. Yeah. Just scan her one more time. Were you able to find any other reptilian consciousness, Michael? No, they are all gone. Beautiful. Thank you. Scan her for any entities, period. Do you have any entities? And also scan mm. her DNA structure for any archons as well. Any negative fractals that are into her, that might be integrated into her DNA that are not organic to hers. Scan her thoroughly, please. There is a spot up on her, up on the skin above her eyebrow. And what is that? There is something. There is an entity there. There is a spot. Mm -hmm. It's some skin. It's it's affecting the skin, and it needs to. Uh, this needs to be healed. If it does not go away, what is it? What is it, though? Like, it's affecting the skin. It, what is it? Energy, entity, implant, hook, portal? What is it? Hmm. I believe it's an implant. Okay. Can I use the Phoenix Fire there, um, directed there to transmute it? Yes, let's do that. Good. Let's go ahead and start transmuting. Is it negative implant? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and start transmuting that and tell me, what was that causing her? It could just, it causes, hmm, it could be affecting the memory, it could be affecting the, it is the skin. Okay. We're transmuting that now. Just let me know, Michael, when this, once it's transmuted mm -hmm. out completely. Michael, scan her uh, DNA structure. Did you find any um, non-organic fractals? 
Anything negative that doesn't belong to her DNA structure? No, we do not. Mm -mm. Good. Very good. And then scanner now for any implants, hooks, or portals. Scanner thoroughly. Let me know if you find any. Negative implants, hooks, or portals. Mm, no, I don't see. Mm -mm. No, nope, she seems to be okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. So um, just let me know once her body scan is complete with um, healing the arthritis, please. And then also the okay. it affects with the autoimmune. And the doctors are trying to give her like medicine and stuff like and that. It's an autoimmune disease. Yes, that's what they call it. It affects what, the immune system. What, what, was, what was it then if it's not autoimmune? Mm. Mm, heavy metal. It is heavy metal. Um, all your life accumulating heavy metal in your body and the heavy metal causes damage. Mm -hmm. And the damage goes into your body and does create the, what they, they call that, it affects the intestines and everything like that. Okay. And this is what causes uh, the, the Issues to go to the knees and to the feet, the inflammation, okay, and the lack of um, health going to the tendons and the muscles. It blocks it. Okay. Can we start transmuting? Can we do some Phoenix Fire upon all the metals that are not organic first? Yeah. Can we start healing this autoimmune? What they're you know what the doctors call it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's do. Thank you. And then let's see. So how did she get metals into her high amounts of metals? Uh, it is, uh, you know, from your environment. It's from the environment, from drinking water or breathing what's in the air, in the bad air and everything. Oh, uh, most of it from a place from where she lived in California. Mm, okay. Is there any metals that come in through, like, the chemtrails? Oh, yes. That's, that's all part of the environment in the air. Yes, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then how can we protect ourselves from something like that? From the chemicals coming into us anymore? How can she? We must shield ourselves every day with a, sh you know, with the intention of blocking all those particles from the air and from the water, that, that anything that may be in there, we can take care of this ourselves, but we have to have the knowledge and we have to block it ourselves. Good. Yeah. Thank you for that. Okay. And then also her hypothyroid. Where did that begin yeah. from? The root to that? That was created when the, that, that was created right after the autoimmune or at the same time. It was at the same time as mm -hmm. the rest of it. It was all part. It's all the same part. It's all the same thing. It's created from that. The autoimmune <laughs> shuts down the thyroid. You know, so that's that's where it, that's what happens. Is she taking any um, medication for any of the stuff that they told her she has? Yes, yes, she is. She's taking medication for the thyroid. Okay, can uh, hire herself, Michael. Can we assist her, Rafael, in no longer needing that medication? Yes, that would be really good. Yes. Good. So if we could make it heal heal her, and how soon could she stop taking it? Hmm. We were saying six months. Okay. Six months. Okay. Very good. What is the medication actually doing to her thyroid or her? It is blocking. It is blocking the thyroid from working. It keeps the thyroid from working because it replaces it. Mm. Yes. So it's not good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can we go ahead and start healing her from this hypothyroid? 
Yes. Okay, good. Feeling love light to any of those areas. Good. Healing her from it. Mm. Okay. Um, Rafael, can you scan her chakras and her... Um, how do they look? Is there any of them blocked or need any healing? Uh, she needs heart help with the, the heart mm -hmm. and with the, with the uh, third eye chakra. Yeah. Can we um, and with the throat, of course, because that yeah. is part of that. Okay, we're yeah. sending love light there now, Rafael. If you could uh, work on her three of those chakras, start yeah. expanding as well her heart to the biggest it can be as her higher self allows, as well as her third eye opening that up again yeah. for her highest good. Can we do that for her? Yes, we can. Very good, Rafael. Thank you, higher self. Overall, just uh, balancing out all her chakras, making them nice and strong and bright. And higher self, can you scan her auric field, please? How does it look, yeah. Rafael? It Isn't looks you? very good. It looks good. good. Just feeling mm -hmm. any love light, just making sure it's nice and strong and bright. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, higher self, does she need any age regress? Oh, yes. Good. How many years can we age regress her higher self? Ten years. Okay, let's go ahead and start that process for her now, please. Okay. Does she need any help with eyesight or teeth? Yes. What can we do? The, eye, the eyes are dry, and um, they just recently, in the last few months, were getting worse. So we need to keep them from getting any worse. You know? strengthen them and the teeth um, just have pain there's pain in teeth and I don't know if it's connected to the arthritis or you know but it's the teeth and the jaw okay using Phoenix fire anywhere that is needed there to transmute any of the pain still throughout her body for the arthritis overall feeling love light to her teeth and her eyes then please healing what's good Okay, healing what's needed there. And Michael, can you scan her for any negative quartz? Does she have any? No, they have already been removed. Wonderful. Okay. Michael, can you scan her for any fragmented soul pieces that need to be re regained back to her? She's fine. Good. Just mm -hmm. fill in love light, making her soul... Make yeah. sure it's nice and whole and strong. And is, is there any past life trauma that we could start healing for her too? Current or past life trauma that we could heal now? She has dealt with so much already. Mm -hmm. So, no, there's nothing that we will deal with today. Okay. Very good. So we've conducted the whole body scan. Michael, let me know, is there anything else that we could have healed? No, I don't think so. It, lo it looks good right now. Beautiful. Okay. Are we complete with her body scan? Yes, we are. Thank you. Thank you, Michael, Raphael, Higher Self, Astro, anyone else who assisted today with such a beautiful, beautiful healing. Thank you to everyone. Thank and what you. a beautiful healing we did as well for our entities. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, wonderful. Now, if I could please speak back to uh, to Amara. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. What an honor to work with you today. How is she holding Thank up? You. She's doing good. Okay, good. So I know she she's feels much better now, much lighter. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm sure. Yes, I can feel it. She knows she's been in there some time already. So I'm going to ask a couple questions that she has here, okay? Okay. Okay, she wants to know, what is her purpose? She is here to support others during this time. That is exactly what she was put here for. She's doing exactly what she is supposed to do. 
Beautiful. Anything else you could give her on her purpose? She she knows and she needs to understand. She knows that what she's very often thought of as her imagination or maybe something that she read or she heard very often this is this is her higher self talking to her this is she is getting information and very often she will just speak it and this will continue to happen and will happen more and more she will write it she will speak it and it will be coming from her higher self and this is how she will help others beautiful thank you and she wants to know is she a star seed or just a very old soul uh, she is a star seed and a very old soul <laughs> <laughs> Both, <right? laughs> <laughs> That's as funny. I said, as I said before, I have been here for eons. I have been here forever, mm -hmm. and yes, so <laughs> that is it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yes. <laughs> Good. Okay. She says that if we can, um, can we unblock her gifts now, please? Yes, we will do that. Okay. Good. She wants to know how she can use her gifts to better help others. She, she will speak up more and she will be able to help others by doing that. She has kept herself hidden away and does not very often speak out like she should. And she will do this. And, and that's how she will help others. Wonderful. She will get f better physically so that she feels better and, and can go out and help others too. It will not just be from, you know, inside her home and on the internet. She will be able to spread her truth physically as well. That's wonderful. Thank you. And she wanted to ask about her family. Um, her daughter and her mother seem to have the same type of related problems. Why is this? Yes. This passed down in the family line. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's just a physical thing that is passed down in the family line. And as just gotten worse with each generation because we have come to this point so that we can heal it and it had to come it had it had to get worse so that it could get better so we will end it we will end it here by healing Good. myself we heal my daughter the daughter and the granddaughter so we will end it with us good can we start the healing now Yes. Thank you. Okay, and then as we're healing that, also her son, she wanted to know, what can, how can we aid him? What about yeah. her dog, Ruby? She's 17 years old and seems to be getting bumps from where those coyotes bit her. What can we do for her? Yes. Yes, we need to send healing to those bumps so that they don't keep filling up. And we need to help her throat. Uh, the cough that she has. Can we use Phoenix Fire in both of those areas? We need to do that, yes. That would be good. And then what's causing the cough? It's like an allergy. It's like an allergy, but it, it, it really bothers her. Okay. And why do, why do those spots where the coyote's bitter, why do they still puff up? Puff up with liquid, she thinks. It didn't heal properly. It helped. It healed from the outside before it healed from the inside. So, okay. Yes. If we could start the process of healing from the inside, then please. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now, at this point, she's been in there some time herself. Is there anything else I could have asked that I haven't asked? 
No, I don't think so. I think she is fine. She's doing good. Beautiful. Oh, thank you, higher self. I her session was so beautiful. I'm so I feel so blessed that she, you know, found me such a long seems like such a long time ago, but it was just a couple yes. of years. And she continued to stay and her beautiful comments throughout um, you know, the the avenues that she shares. Um I I love you dearly for always, you know, channeling through her and giving us these messages. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see. And you are so welcome. <laughs> Anything else I could have asked that I haven't asked? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> beautiful. Thank you. What a profound, beautiful healing. Thank you again. <laughs> <sighs> May I bring her back now? Yes. Thank you. Again, our infinite love to all the archangels who assisted today, her higher self, and all the mm. entities that are somewhere Positive, polarized, and happy blessings to everyone. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Take your time. Yeah. Ready? Sit up yeah. and drink some water. Yes. I need some water. Yes. Well, <laughs> The dogs, the dogs were frolicking. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the cutest ever. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh. <laughs> they were rocking. Yes, they um, wanted to play. They yeah. liked the energy so much they wanted to play. <laughs> they did. It was so cute, especially the one rubbing all over you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you say it's time to get up, now, Mom. You've been laying around here long enough. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I, I felt oh like God. almost like you were seeing though, like it was rubbing against your loving energy, like he, almost like he wanted some of it. You know, like yeah, for self healing. Yes. Uh huh. Like yeah. Uh huh. Like she was yeah. getting some of that. <laughs> too. Yes. Beautiful. Um, how long do you think Thank you, were you here? so much? You're welcome. Thank you. It was. It was a couple hours. Yeah, definitely. About I think two I hours. pretty much remember. I think I pretty much remember everything. Good. Um, yes. Yes. Okay. Wow. Such beautiful answers that were so clear and um, just loving, loving. Thank you for for um, you know sharing all that you did and what a beautiful, profound healing for you. And then also oh, yes. with all those entities. Oh, thank you yeah. so much. I mean, this the, it was just so much. Thank like, you. You know, this was just like you are so, um, what do you call it? You grab every detail and you make sure that you get a hold of every detail. And, and, and it, so it's, it's complete, you know. And that's you. because you have a lot of experience. You're, yeah, you're very yeah. good at this. And I thank you so much. And I'm so glad that I did schedule a session with you. <laughs> Thank and you. To have it for you. At this time, you know, is just amazing. You exactly know, exactly when it needed to happen. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Wow. You can right? feel that release little by little coming off of you. Right. Oh, huge. You honestly, you can feel it in the earth right now. Thank you for helping heal her today. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> uh, You're welcome. You're so welcome. <laughs> well. Love you, sister. Honor you and respect you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a beautiful, blessed day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.